Today, you're going to learn how to create custom vector brushes all in Adobe Illustrator with a little bit of optional Photoshop as well. But if you don't have Photoshop or want to mess around with that, you can download the project files for Illustrator from the video description. So I have my new document set up in Illustrator, but first of all, I need to go into Photoshop. And I'm using the latest version that has the generative features. So I'm going to select the marquee tool and make a rectangular selection. And I'm going to click Generative Fill. And I'm going to type Black Brush Stroke. Photoshop will do its thing. And there we go, we have just that. We have a black stroke. And of course, we get a few different versions to choose from. And you can generate as many as you like. Typically, you want to go for the one that is the most horizontal and less curvy. So in this case, that might be this one. And then what I'm going to do with the main selection tool is go into Free Transform with Command or Control T. We'll drag this up to the top, zoom out a pinch. And then I'm going to hover over this top left corner and hold Command or Control and Shift. And I can now distort the perspective. So I'm going to try and get this as flat along the top as possible. And then if I drag this to the bottom edge, I can then use the bottom edge of the canvas to try and line this one up as well. It's just quicker than using rulers. So again, let's go back to the top. And ultimately, I'm just trying to flatten this out and make it a bit more horizontal. OK, that looks pretty good. Let's drag that back into the middle and press return. Now, this has some nice texture on that left and right side, but it also has some texture on the top and bottom. There's also still a slight bend in the brush. If you'd like to keep all of this, that's fine. You can skip this next step. But if you'd like something that is perfectly straight, then this is how you do it. So let's right click this layer and we'll convert this to a smart object. Then we'll go up again and we're going to rasterize the layer. Now with the marquee tool, what I'm going to do is just drag here and select that top part and then hold shift and do the same here. And with this selection made, press delete or backspace and then deselect the selection. Now, sometimes when you do this, it will work better than others. What I can do is select this, go back into free transform and then just thicken this back up. And then of course, if you want to grab something like the eraser tool and just go and erase little bits of these corners here and try and just roughen it up so it feels less perfect on those edges. And you can go ahead and do that. Right, there's a few different ways we can now get this into Illustrator. One technique I love to use is to right click the layer and go quick export as PNG. And this will export with transparency as well. So let's just go ahead and save this and then switch over to Illustrator. Now I'm going to go to File, down to Place. And I'm going to select the black brush stroke PNG. And let's place this one in. Single left click. And it's a bit small, so uh, let's scale that one up. There we go, and pop it in the center. Now, as you can see, this has pixelated around the edges. And for this next step, we could work with this as it is and retain all of that raster based texture. Or we can try and convert this to a vector and then we can scale this to any size without a loss in quality. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's select this. And then from the properties panel, we're going to select image trace. Let's select default for now. And that's not bad. The edges aren't great though. So let's open up the tracing options and then toggle down advanced. First of all, I'm going to check ignore color and make sure that this color is white. If it doesn't change automatically, you can use the eyedropper tool to sample the background color. And let's uncheck this one here as well. And to get the most realistic gritty detail, I'm going to bring down the noise and I'm then going to bring down the corners as well. And if you'd like to save this as a preset, then you've got that option up there. Right, let's close this down and get a good look at the design. There we go, that's not too bad. And remember, if you're not happy with the result you get, you can just generate loads of brushes in Photoshop and try some different ones until you get something you're happy with. Now, the next step is to go and expand this. So let's go and click expand. And this is now a regular shape in Illustrator. Next, we need to turn this into a brush that we can use. So let's go to Window, down to Brushes. And let's pop this panel up here in the corner. And what we're going to do is simply drag this graphic into the panel. And we can select the type as Art Brush. Click OK. And we're going to select Stretch Between Guides. And now we're going to grab these guides here. We've got one on the left side and we're going to bring this in. And what we're doing is just bringing this inside of that texture on the end. 
So let's do the same for the right as well. Bring that in enough that the texture is on the outside and then everything between these two guides will be stretched when we use this as a brush. But because it's a solid black rectangle, we're not going to see any distortion on the brush. So if you do have any texture on your brush in between these two guides, just know that it will be distorted and stretched out the longer your brush strokes. Now for the colorization, let's set the method to tints. This will enable us to apply colors to the brush and then click OK. Now you can see the brush is listed here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this graphic. And then let's grab the brush tool. Make sure the brush is selected. And now the fun part, let's draw something. And you can see that we've now defined this as a brush and we can draw any path with the brush tool and it will have that beautiful brush effect. And this is all vector based as well. So you can scale this to any size. And we can also reduce that stroke weight and then draw some thinner lines as well. Let's draw something a bit more wild. Nice squiggle, Dan. And these brush effects can be applied to any path in Illustrator. And we could try something else. Let's go and write my name. Dan. There we go. Well done, Dan. <laughs> and yes, even though that looks like one of my kids drew it, like I'm using a mouse. So come on, give me a break. And if you'd like to learn some advanced techniques for Illustrator, then click on the video on screen now and I'll see you in the next one.